Hey, Hickok 45 here. Today we're going to look at the Marlin 1894 Cowboy. 44 Magnum specifically. Lever gun. Doesn't get a lot better. Let's give you the rundown. Yes, Marlins 1894 Cowboy Limited, 44 Magnum, Walnut Stock, Lever Gun, Skinner Sights. It's a sweet little piece of hardware. Let's take a look at it a little bit closer and reload it. It's uh, got that octagonal barrel, which, yeah, we folks at Cowboy at Heart just cannot help but like. Uh, there's just something really special about that, uh, that kind of barrel. Harkens back to the 1800s, even before, I suppose. So this gun is a pretty nice little shooter with uh, a Skinner sights, peep sight. And uh, that's really the only modification that this gun has, other than this, uh, this little butt uh, pad. I, again, I don't have that for a pad as much as it is just to give it a little bit extra length. That's from Cabela's. I'm not sure who makes that, but uh, I picked up a few of those a while back from Cabela's. And... Uh, they fit a lot of different different firearms and it's got a name here you can see but uh, they do a pretty good job need to get some custom made ones here at some point so it is a uh, again it goes back to 1894 so it's a very uh, uh, enduring model and uh, you know it just this shoots well 44 magnum it's available in other calibers let's take a few more shots with it this guy here escaped somehow didn't he <laughs> oh, Mr. Coconut. Oh, yeah, it's a good year for coconuts. All of our trees are really flourishing. <laughs> oh, two with one shot. Not bad. Ooh, goat meat. I think I see some pots over there on that barrel. Let's see if we can take the center one out. Hmm, that was some special ammunition. It had three slugs in it. <laughs> oh, I see a little, uh, this is not good probably. I'll shoot him anyway, the little uh, pig. Yeah, I'll get it right in a minute. Over there on that board. Yeah, I think I hit the board, oh well. If he falls, he counts, right? <laughs> when I used to do long-range metallic silhouette shooting, as long as the animal fell, it's the one you were shooting at, you got credit. So, uh, what else about this gun? You got This is a later model gun. You got your cross-bolt safety, which a lot of purists don't like, where you you, uh, you, know, you push that over, and that's safe, and then you push it over for fire. Uh, most traditionalists feel like the hammer is safe enough, and of course, what's between your ears is your main safety. But... Uh, that's about the only addition you know, that uh, is a little bit distasteful to some people. Holds 10 rounds in a magazine, a 44 Magnum. I think with 44 Special, you can get an extra round or two, probably just one extra round in there. It does okay with 44 Special, uh, but it, it feeds better and cycles better with 44 Magnum. These particular rounds I'm firing, again, the versatility of the 44 Magnum, let me load on Gavin, is uh, that you can uh, load a variety of, of rounds. And uh, these are 300 grain. These are pretty stiff. These are these are warm. This is uh, kind of like what I shoot in, in my 45 caliber version of this. 45 coal. I've got some hot, heavy rounds. And uh, these, the, you notice how they took those uh, goats down. There was no teetering and eventually falling, was there? So they do the job. And of course, we got some factory rounds. So we'll, we'll take a couple, a couple more of these. And you notice the sights are really on. So let's just take a couple more animals and then we'll, uh, come on, let's, let's just hit the gong. I don't want the gong to feel neglected. Yeah. I don't want 
don't want that other goat to feel neglected. He doesn't like to fall. Yeah, you all know. So it definitely does the job. No doubt about that. Oh, oh, I forgot about this. I'll tell you, well, let's save that for a minute. Let's pop the buffalo over there. messing around. I mean, you just can't miss with this gun. Let's shoot a couple of factory rounds. These are some blazers. Just again, the versatility of the 44 Magnum. Ooh, those are wicked looking, aren't they? They're nice though. Let's, uh, let's use these on the, actually, they're probably not as effective, but we'll use them anyway on that cinder block. Uh, so they'll be soft lead and jacketed. Might as well try a few of these. 44 Magnum is a very versatile round. It's a very common round, I have to say, as well as versatile. And uh, all kinds of loads available for it. It's not inexpensive, but uh, very good for a variety of, of things. All right. Let's, let's put one on that pan first there. <laughs> and went through it. You know what? That's a... Let's try that pot there. <laughs> okay. I'm a, for kicks, I'm going to try the red plate over there since I have a different round. See if it has a different point of impact. I think it does. Uh, maybe yeah, a little bit lower, maybe. You know what? These are not as hot. See, with a lever gun, you're not unarmed. Now, I'm going to put four or five more in of these heavy ones. Even though those are hot factory loads, these are actually hotter. So we're going to put that uh, center block out of his misery with these 300 grain hard cast bullets. If you don't know what hard cast means, there's a guy on YouTube named Hickok45 that tells you all about that in a video. Okay, hard cast, hard lead, as opposed to pure lead, soft lead. Check out his basics playlist. He's a little crazy, but there's a few things there you can learn. All right. We'll see if we can pick off the uh, coconut. And I think that's our last one. We're going to go pick a couple more. All right. Let's see if we can just skin him right off there. All right. Get him while he's moving. <laughs> All right. Cinder block. I hate to do this to you. Actually, I'm just shooting at edges there. I better not uh, put too many more on him. So, too bad for you, turkey. I got a couple of rounds left. Well, I say too bad. Okay, I got to hit you first, don't I? <laughs> All right, so we got a hit on the last shot. So, this is again the Marlin 1894 Cowboy Limited. It is a really uh, fun gun to shoot and something you can just do about anything with. You want it to target shoot, hunt, it's a beauty. Octagonal barrel, skinner sights, wouldn't trade it for anything. I really like it. Uh, so, hope you got some uh, good information and you enjoy that little rundown on the Marlin 1894 Cowboy. Life is good.